Freaks and Freaks, welcome. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys my feedback on Starlight by Zerzhov. I've again heard a lot of buzz about this fragrance of late, and I received a sample of it probably maybe two months ago or so. And ever since I sprayed it and wore the sample a couple of times, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So inevitably, I bought the bottle and I've had it for a little while now, and I feel like I'm in a good... Um, position to be able to share with you guys my feedback on it. If you're new to my channel or perhaps you've been here before and you love fragrance like most of us do, please don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications and like this video. It really does help my channel. Okay guys, so here is the gorgeous bottle. I've seen a lot of the Zerja bottles before but there was something kind of special about this one. I don't know what it is. I can't tell you guys. I think it's something to do with the fact the X's are on the outside of the bottle. There's this simplistic bottle design, but it just looks clear, beautiful and pristine. I think that's what it may be. It also came in its usual beautiful Zerzhoff uh, leather case, which is always very impressive when you get it. Okay, guys, so I've sprayed some of the scent on the strip here. And while it dries down, I will give you guys the scent notes. Top notes are cardamom and bergamot, mid notes are cinnamon, almond and cloves, and base notes are amber and cedar. Okay guys, so as I said in the beginning of the video, from the first moment that I tried this fragrance, I fell in love. I knew that eventually I would own it. It was one of those scents that you smell it and you go, I want this and I know eventually I'm going to have it. So smelling the fragrance again, um, I have the same reaction that I did the very first time that I sprayed it. Um, it kind of takes your breath away. It's a real pinch me moment. And I mean, with me smelling so many fragrances, there are certainly a few of late that I've been legitimately blown away with and I'm really happy about that. Uh, but this one kind of stood out for me. It was one of those fragrances that kind of gave me everything that I wanted. If you guys are into spicy, sweet, gourmand fragrances um, that aren't as typical as maybe some other ones out there, definitely sample this one because it is an absolute dream to smell. It really is a sweet, syrupy, spicy, gourmand scent. Um, it, it does have an element of booziness to it as well, but it's not drunken boozy. So if you're somebody who enjoys the spiciness and the sweetness and the syrupy, sticky sort of elements, but you don't like overly boozy scents, while it is boozy, I would say it's more slightly boozy to be completely honest. Like I'm not feeling like I'm drunk after I'm smelling it. Also, the citrus notes that are in this, they're not dominant, but they're there enough to again stop it becoming too boozy too sweet too full-on it's a beautifully refined balanced scent that you know really does enough to stand ahead of the crowd when i got the sample of starlight uh, as i said i wore the sample for a few days and i remember thinking how great longevity and projection was um, I would like take a shower and come out and still smell it in my hair. And the jumper that I wore on one of the days was hanging in my wardrobe. And even till now, which was weeks and weeks ago, every time I walk into my, my wardrobe, all I can smell is starlight. If you're looking for a cardamom, cinnamon and clove fragrance, this is the winning trifecta. It is indeed very, 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 very spicy. They really do come up and hit you, but because of those beautiful, boozy, sweet, syrupy notes happening, you don't overwhelm on it too much where you're going, oh, there's no versatility here. I can't wear this, you know, sort of very regularly. There are two Killian fragrances that remind me of this one, and that is Intoxicated and Angel Share. It's kind of almost like they've been blended together. There are elements in this fragrance that are different as well. But if you own Intoxicated or Angel Share or you, if you've tried them, it would give you some insight definitely as to what this fragrance smells like. If you're asking me what I get more, Intoxicated or Angel Share, I definitely get Angel Share more. 
the only real difference between this one and angel share for me is that it's not as drunken boozy whereas angel share does have all these spicy tantalizing sweet syrupy things going on but it is a drunken boozy scent i mean you feel drunk after you've smelt it whereas this one here focuses on the spices etc but it gives you much more syrupy sweetness and citrus notes to balance it out i find this scent it actually depends on the days that i've worn it and i don't know why it could be the weather but it's absolutely unisex would smell amazing on a man or a woman for sure um, but there are certain days where i wear it and i think oh that smells a little bit more unisex or masculine and then there are days where i wear it and i think no that's a full unisex scent um, but i actually have smelt it on a man myself it smells amazing i mean it really does and then i've worn it quite a lot lately just because it's a new fragrance and i kind of wanted to have a lot of exposure to it before doing this review for you guys and it really didn't let me down at all and it totally made me feel confident it made me feel sexy it made me feel special when i wore this fragrance so scent freaks that is finally my review on starlight um one of my subscribers actually reached out to me a while back shout out to you deborah how are you my darling um, and she said to me, you know, have you tried Starlight? Because she remembered I loved Angel Share so much. Number one, I thought, oh my gosh, how beautiful is that that she even thought of me? But number two, she is absolutely right. I adore this scent and thank you so much, Deborah. If you guys have tried Starlight and you have any feedback about it that you would like to share, please shoot it in the comments below with any questions you have about the scent as well. Thank you so much, Zen Freaks. I love and appreciate you all, and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.